Hey kiddos, time for the daily bread. Mary's heading over to Elizabeth's house. Let's see what uh, happens here in today's track. Daily track 601, Luke chapter 1, verse 41 and 42. And it happened that as Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she cried out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Kids, so as Elizabeth hears Mary coming, she is excited because the infant inside of her, so John, remember John is the infant's name inside of her? He jumps in her womb, right? He, he, she feels him moving. And uh, that's also the same time it says that she's filled with the Holy Spirit. Because remember, John was going to be filled with the Holy Spirit right from birth. And so now Elizabeth is as well. And you can see, again, for the Hail Mary, the rest of um, the first part of the Hail Mary. Remember in the few tracks back, we talked about um, Hail Mary full of grace. The Lord is with thee, right? That was from Angel Gabriel. And then blessed are thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, right? That comes from this track here. So the first part of the Hail Mary is from Scripture. And then I, I told you that, and this was the controversial part, is the second part of the Scripture um, is not there. So, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Again, Mary is, is not God. So um, I, I um, caution praying to Mary like that. Again, repeating Scripture is not a... A problem at all, right? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Um, and and blessed are you among women, and blessed is your womb, or the fruit of your womb, um, because she is blessed. I mean, the God of the universe chose her of all the women to ever live. She was chosen. So she's very blessed. She's very special, right? But she is not God. She's a person. She's a human being. She needs Jesus' blood just like all of us, right? All of us need Jesus' blood, even Mary. And so that's why I caution when you pray, I typically don't say the Hail Mary because um, she's not omnipresent, omniscient, um, omnipotent. She's not those things. Only God is. And, and so um, you're, you're praying to someone who can't hear you. The, would she care about you? Does she love you? I'm sure she does, and she does. But for her to um, take those prayers and do something about it, probably not. So with that, we'll get into more tomorrow, uh, seeing how Elizabeth and Mary, um, Elizabeth will continue her conversation with Mary. God bless. I love you.